Hallo kijkers van Shine Sprites, op mijn geliefde aflevering van Layton's Mystery Journey. In deze aflevering hopen we van Dr. Ohm te horen wat uh, nou uiteindelijk uh, aan de hand is. Dr. Ohm, would you mind if I ask you uh, one or two questions? Tell me, why uh, is it that you've accused Ernest for stealing the papers? For crying out loud, he was seen climbing in through the window. You don't need to be Einstein to figure it out. I'm sorry, Dr. Ohm, you're mistaken. That's right, miss. You set him straight. Ernest has admitted entering the room through a window, but he didn't climb in. He fell in with an oopsie daisy. Uh, but I, I don't think that's really relevant here, miss. Oh, really? But you kept mentioning it. it. Look, I was just here before you snuck the, through the window, and all my papers were uh, accounted for then. Uh, I had an appointment, so I left the laboratory, but made sure I locked the door on my way out. Then just after you broke in, one of my students came and let her, uh, himself in here uh, with a spare key. He saw you in here, for goodness sake. And when I got back, the um, papers I'd left on my desk were gone. They can't have just disappeared into thin air, can they? Who else can be responsible but you? I don't know. Just a moment, Dr. Ohm. You said you locked the door when you left the room, didn't you? What about the window? Didn't you lock that? Oh, I remember now. I actually saw Dr. Ohm opening the window while I was standing at admiring the roses outside. The same window that the cat jumped in the, uh, the through, I mean. Hmm, I don't remember. I intended to lock the window too, but... But the point is, you don't expect people to sneak in through windows. <laughs> the fact that you did, uh, that proves you were up to no good. Dr. Ohm, I wish you'd believe me. I don't think there's anything you could say to him at the moment that would change his mind, Ernest. We just have to find uh, een of andere proof. Oh, look, there's a fine view of the rose bed out of the, outside the window. Oh, you noticed the roses, have you? I'll say they're uh, simply splitting, aren't they? I often uh, stop and gaze out of the window at them. Who tends to flowers, Dr. Ohm? I don't really know, to be honest. I uh, hear some students manage the gardening around here. So the view from the window helps you when you're writing papers, you mean? Hmm, the view from the window. Eén clue en dan weten we het. Hmm, well now that I've had a look around the laboratory for myself. Oh, have you managed to find evidence we need, miss? I find that your actions are more and more suspicious, Ernest. Oh no, not really. I was pulling your I was just pulling your leg. Gosh, I nearly fainted. Still, I can't find anything that really proves your innocence. For the time being, you're still considered a suspect, I'm afraid. You, uh, we need to find something that uh, points the true culprit. Just something. Hmm. This is a real problem, this is. Dr. Ohm, what's wrong? I've been trying to carry on with this paper despite my important documents having been stolen. But without them to refer to, I'm lost. I can't um, make head nor tail of what's written here. Oh dear. Um, would you let me have a look, professor? You? But you were the thief! Well, why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the way things are at the moment, I couldn't get any worse. Thank you. This is what's giving me the trouble, you see? Oh, who's all? To the letter. Okay, the letters on the left have been transformed into the symbols on the right. Okay, using the same rule, what symbol would be uh, would the bottom letter turn into? Choose from the four possible. Okay. That's how right must be. So, in conclusion. Easy winning. Still more patch on this Leighton, of course.
Ah, yes, that makes sense now. What do you say your name was again? Ernest Greaves, wasn't it? Very impressive. You were, if you weren't a thief, you have a promising future ahead of you. I do wish you would believe me, Professor. I really didn't steal anything. It doesn't make any difference who did it now. Tomorrow's the deadline for the paper submission anyway. Tomorrow? Oh golly, that is a, is a pickle. You're telling me. I was due to finish it off today, but that was before my documents were pla pinched. It's no use. Without that data, data, I can't write another word. Ha, the whole world is watching and waiting to see what I publish next. But I'm not going to be able to satisfy the thirst of my knowledge ditch this time. Oh dear, what a mess. It's beyond my control though. Uh, now that my documents are gone, blame the scoundrel that stole them. Hmm, you won't meet the submission deadline. Yes, it's beyond your control. Are you alright, miss? I wonder, I think I might know why the, uh, why the documents were missing. Nice. We should look at the nice thing on the cake. We gaan het zeker solven. I've got it. I know exactly what happened. Really? You mean you can prove that I didn't do it? Yes, Ernest. You're off the hook. This mystery is history. So who did take the professor's documents then? I'll explain everything later. First, I want you to go fetch Inspector Hastings. What? Me? Yes, you. Who else could go? Run along, Ernest. Chop chop. Uh, oh yeah, okay, okay. We can put the puzzle of your missing documents to bed now. That mystery is history. Really? They are there. Hey. What? But I don't. Roses. What on earth does this business have to do with that bed of roses? That's the result of your research. What are you talking about? I research genetically engineered plants. Those are just ordinary run-of-the-mill flowers of the genus Rosa. What possible connection could they have to my work? You hit a brick wall with your research. With the presentation of your paper fast approaching, you needed to buy yourself some time. So you arranged for your documents to be stolen. Who planted that idea in your head? Of course, it left you with the problem of disposing of reams and reams of paper. And then you realized you could feed it to the goats the university keeps, whose droppings are used as manure for those roses. You're kidding! So those roses are the fruits of your labor. Haven't they bloomed beautifully? You must be delighted. <sighs> In other words, Ernest here is innocent. So, Ernest, I'll leave you to take it from here. Miss Layton, you are... Magnificent. It's over. All that research and for what? I've absolutely nothing to show for any of it. It doesn't have to be over, Professor. Why don't you start again? I'd gladly help you. Ernest, you... You mean you can forgive me? After everything I've done? I've watched you conducting your research for a long time now. I know better than anyone what an exceptional man you are. I'm quite sure you'll succeed given enough time, so let's start again, working together. Well, Ernest, you're exceptional yourself. Thank you. It's Miss Layton we should be thanking, both of us. I must think of some way to repay her. And that was the moment I realized. I realized what a deep respect I had for Miss Layton, what complete faith I had in her abilities, and how I truly felt about her. 
He's in love. Ja, wij zeven de progress wel hoor. Plonkie, plonkie, plonk. Kijk, case 11. Nog twee cases. Catriel Layton. Won't it? Chancellor Lane is busting. There's been a murder. And Cat is the prime suspect? What? Hmm. <laughs> ah, yes. Just the start of another lovely day. Ernest, borrow some tea, would you? Yes, miss. You seem to be in a rather gay mood this morning. Apart. Apart of Um Have you had some good news or something? Oh, you noticed. Isn't is it that obvious? I thought I was managing to hide it quite well. Well, I popped into the Lucky Clover up the road yesterday. You know, the boutique owned by Mrs. Price. Anyway, I saw the most delightful hat, but I just couldn't decide if I could buy it or not. Life's hard, isn't it? Um, she just uh, was just about to close for the day, so I had to leave it. But I've been thinking about it all night. And at the end, oh, I decided I'm going to splash out and buy it. So it's time for a trip to the Lucky Clover. I was so hoping there would be more to that hat. <laughs> Lol. Cheryl, worrying about hats is not a thrifling matter. <laughs> it's what an English gentlewoman does, and so should you. I'm very excited about this, miss. You're sure you're going to look simply stunning in it. Okay, this is all not interesting. Oh, everyone seems to uh, be gathering outside the Lucky Clover. And I don't see any tails waggling. It looks serious. I, I can't really see. I wonder what's going on. Miss Layton, look, there's a policeman outside the shop. The police are on the scene. Some kind of incident must have taken place then. Well, I dare say. Gosh, let's go and ask some of the people milling around if they know anything. Um, excuse me. Sorry, lad. I'm right in uh, the throws here. Big news, this is. Very big news indeed. Indeedly. This doesn't make the front page in the morning. Um, I'll be monkey's uncle, okay. You're the lad from the latent detective a uh, agency? Yes, that's right. Whatever is going on here, Douglas. Uh, and Miss Layton, Craggy. Sorry, have I... Dearie me, it's her. Miss Layton's here, Luke. It is her, the woman herself. Can it really be true? Mm, personally, I don't believe it. What have you done, cat? Everyone's particular Killing jumping out of their skins if they're suing you here. I know, I have no idea what's going on. I just, uh, I'll just go and ask one of the police officers. I don't think that will be necessary, Ernest. Someone's coming over. Look, I don't believe I've seen him before, have you? Well, Miss Catriel Layton, I believe, of the Layton Detective Agency. Yes, that's me. I don't believe we've met. Um, Britannius is the name. Chief Inspector Britannius from Scotland Yard. Oh well, pleased to meet you Chief Inspector. Um, there's quite a uh, crowd here, isn't there? What happened? Don't speak to me please, it's against protocol to converse with the suspects. Suspects? No, no, I'm... Catriel Latham, I'm arresting you on suspicion of perverting uh, the course of justice and... No, you can't arrest Miss Layton. Just a moment please, Chief Inspector. What am I even uh, accused of doing? Why are you arresting me? Police. You're a, uh, a suspect for the murder of Clover Price, properties of, uh, pro properties of Lucky Clover. Miss Price? Murder? Murder? Catriel Layton wanted. Ooh, case alive. You mean Miss Price has been killed? Inspective, <laughs> impressive acting, love. But you think you're rather overplaying it? I know you did it. I didn't know anything about this until just now. 
Oh really? Well perhaps this little priestess will jog some memories for you. This morning I was, uh, it was reported that the proprietoress of the Lucky Clover, Miss Clover Price, was lying motionless on the floor of her boutique. Police rushed to the scene, but the victim has already, was already dead. I don't believe it, poor Miss Price. We've managed to pinpoint the time of death as yesterday evening. And according to the witness, you, Miss Layton, were seen entering the shop on that exact time. So darling, what more can I t uh, tell you? Obviously it was you. Well, I did go to the Lucky Clover yesterday, you were right. I was thinking about buying one of her hats in there, but Mrs. Price was perfectly fine when I left. You can carry on lying to me down at the yard. Constable, take the suspect in. Yes sir, ins Chief Inspector. Miss Layton, I'm afraid I'm going to have to, to ask to uh, accompany me to the station. No, Miss Layton isn't a criminal, this is madness. Ernest is right, please hear me out. Come quietly, miss, otherwise I'll regret to say I have to cuff you. Gosley is really going to arrest you, miss. Cuff me? But I'm no killer. Sorry, miss, but I have to follow procedure in these matters. You're flogging at that dog, cat, they're not going to listen. This must be the scoop of the century. The esteemed detective Catrell laid an accused of murder and I thought nothing could surprise me. All right, everyone, stand aside, please. Britannius, what Dickens, what the Dickens are you going on? What is going on here? Well, well, what a surprise! Not. I thought you'd be making an entrance before Long Hastings. Come on, what evidence have you that got uh, got that she did it? It was. I was expecting you would protest her innocence. Um, uh, seeing as how she solves the majority of your cases for you, I'm not protesting anything. I'm all. All I'm asking is, what proof have you got? Oh, I'll get proof, Hastings, just as soon as I get her in the sweat box back at the yard. That's not warranted, and you know it. Uh, what's with the strong arms tactics, eh? Oh, I can't hear you. you mu it must be because I'm in charge of this investigation, not you. You might be in charge, but I'm not gonna sit back and let you uh, get away with concerning a suspect. Looks like there's a bit of a dogfight going among the pigs. Um, I have a nasty feeling that if uh, I let that chief inspector Bertanius arrest me, I'll be going one on a one-way truck to jail. So I think I'm just going to make my excuses. Bye. Where are you going, darling? Not trying to skip, are we? I'll distract them, miss. Run while you can. Thank you, Ernest. You're a lifesaver. For you, miss, any time. Sorry, Chief Inspector, but uh, I can't let you go past me. You? You're trying to protect her, are you? I don't think so. Sorry, I won't budge. I can't get around him, sir. Get real late and stop right here. Sorry, I've forgotten how. Where are you even going, cat? No idea. Uh. Basically, as far away from here as possible, but at the end of Chancer Street, we'll do for now, lol. Uh, now we're on the run, eh? Spawned. Where do we go now? There's no time to stop and think. This is a race and we have to stay in the lead. I know, but I'm not used to uh, being the one who's being chased. I'm usually the one doing the chasing. Ciao Bella, a pleasure to see you again. Oh, hello. I didn't mean to listen, but are you being chased by the police? Go to Lipsky's, they will help you, I'm sure. Good idea, we head the, that way. Uh, don't let them catch you. I know you're not a killer. Uh, no one who appreciates fine food as you don't, could commit a chutzy crime. Well, thank you. <laughs> Ciao and be careful. Yes, all the eating here paid off. <laughs> Lol. You're right, Cheryl. I can't afford to let them catch me. They think I'm a murderer. Plinky, plonky. Okay. 
Puh, han er det lipskis. Whew, well, we've made it this far at least. Fugitives, how did we end up in this mess? I hate needing to flee. One's bad enough. Lol. Uh, oh, Luke, Alex and Hans are both here. Let's ask them if uh, they have any good ideas for us. Perhaps they'll know uh, how we can slip away from here unnoticed. Maar dat gaan we de volgende aflevering doen. Bedankt voor het kijken. Adios, amigos.